The Earth's alive too, you know. Huh. So now you're gonna get mad at me. This is different. People can't just do whatever they want. Some things are just plain wrong, and they should be corrected. Hank, what the hell are you doing? You ready for surgery? Oh, no. I'll be right there. Hey, Doc. Why'd you become a doctor? Is it fun saving lives? <laughs> Life is wonderful, and I want to pass that on to people. <laughs> wonderful, huh? What a weirdo. Hank! You prick! You have got some nerve showing up late! Uh, sorry, let's get started. Ugh. This operation deals with a pendamoma of the spine, but... Huh? Is there a problem? Yeah, check it out. It's the patient's MRI. Uh, the entire spine is swollen. It's uncommon for an ependymoma. Right? Well, let's hope there are no complications. It never hurts to be careful. Let's begin. Let's begin. The objective of this operation is to extract ependymoma, correct? Yeah, we'll be going through the back to get to it. Let's hurry up and start. <laughs> Hmm. First, we'll excise the vertebral arches. Bring out the laser. Okay, keep it up. Do the same for the other side, too. Diagnosis results came back with a pendemoma. Let's go as planned and divide the posterior median sulcus to open the spinal cord. Whoa, that is one damn huge tumor. Mm. At that size, it's impossible to extract all at once. Let's go bit by bit. Hey, if you screw up here, it could seriously mess up the patient. Be careful to follow the guidelines during the incision. <laughs> Are you trying to kill the patient? 
your stuff, huh? <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? I am a specialist, you know. Oh, shut up. Don't bother me with details. I'm still wondering about that MRI. Why would something like... Huh? What the... There are black bruises on the spinal cord? Wait, something's wrong. This... Is it an outbreak of hemangioblastoma? <laughs> So this is what was on the MRI. Hey, what are we gonna do? We'll continue with the extraction. We have to remove all of it. Next, continuing on and detaching the blood vessels. Rock something. Extraction complete. If the abnormalities on the MRI are from hemangioblastoma, I doubt that's the end of it. Looks like you're right. Continuing with the treatment. Cautiously continue. Let's end this operation. I don't want to strain the patient. Let's reinforce the vertebral arches. We'll secure them with rods. First, we insert screws. All right. Screws. Give me a second. Okay, the screws are ready to go. We'll insert a total of eight. Four each on the left and right sides. Gotcha. Aim for the guideline. Don't put them in too deep. Got it? That's the first one. Continuing with the treatment. Hmm. They're incorrectly. Continue on. That's the skills there. Alright, we're done on this side. Now on to the other one. all the screws. Now we pass the rod through the screws on each side. Hey, are you watching the guideline? Pass it through without touching it. Hand me the next rod. This one's for the other side. Good. Both rods have been inserted. Now to attach the fixator. This treatment is rock solid. Yeah, well done. Let's close up and finish this off. Closing the operation field. Hand me the stapler. Not bad at all. all right. This operation's over with. Thank you for assisting me. You were very helpful. does take skill to be a specialist. It's not that special. I just take every step carefully and precisely. Yeah, well, being careful and precise really isn't how I roll, you know? All right, surgery's complete. Yay! <sighs> the operation was, was over. Nervous. At one point, I started wondering what would happen. But I'm glad it ended well. Who knows what could have happened if Dr. Freebird wasn't here. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You did well hey. too, Emma. Good job. You all right, big guy? Ooh, I got praised for uh, once. I've never seen <laughs> spinal ependymoma like this. Don't get carried away. There are things that still need to be taken care huh? of. Well, the surgery went great, so it's fine now, right? Well, we can't just leave it at that. I'll report it to Gabriel. Hey there, well done, everyone. Chief? What are you doing here? Is it that odd for me to come down here? Oh, by the way, Hank, 
Hmm? There's a lady at the entrance, here to see you. Huh? What? Uh, me? I'm being really serious. Be now hurry Does up Dr. and go Freebird see. Does have a girlfriend? Emma, that's the doctor's private matter. Oh, no. <laughs> this it is, is a so bit unexpected. Scandalous. It's you. How are your wounds? You should have come inside. I hate hospitals. They smell gross. Like medicine. Oh, is that so? Well, all right. So, what brings you here? You hungry? What's this? Food. I haven't cooked in a while and I made too much. For me? Oh. I appreciate your kindness. Dude, it's leftovers. You don't need to be so excited. Well, that's not true. You still took the effort to give them to me. And that alone is worth being grateful for. You're weird. I'm weird? Why? My dad used to cheat on my mom. And she cried all the time. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't trust men. I always end up fighting them. Oh, I am so tired of that cycle. It just keeps repeating. Is that, well, the reason for your, uh... My suicide? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be so much easier. That's ridiculous. Huh? I said that's ridiculous. Look at how blue the sky is and how green the grass is. The world's a wonderful enough place as it is. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that may be what's good about you after all. Hmm. Is that so? I'll come again. See you, Doc. Hey, Hank. Huh? So you're the one who takes care of the flowers? Well, I'll be. Hey, mister! It's your turn. You're gonna buy those or not? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll just take this guy as well. Thank you. Come again. Happened? <sighs> It'll be another five 
minutes before the doctor's helicopters get here. Where's the stretcher? Someone take this patient out of here. Damn it, it's no use over Quit here. Quit standing around. Hey, get stable victims ready for transport. Allow me to help too, miss. You're that eagle man from the papers. That's just some bad press. Let's focus on saving this patient for now. Uh, oh, all right. He has several broken bones. What hospital can take him? Everywhere's full. We're sending the rest to Resurgum. You're transporting them to Resurgum First Care? But... Don't worry, our orthopedics department is top-notch. Oh, hey! Hey, isn't that the Eagle Man? That's him! He must have been behind all this! What? No, I had nothing to do with all this. No more excuses! Hey, police! Here's the culprit! Uh, He's getting away! Get him! Get back here, you filthy coward! No, no I, I'm not! Where have you been, Hank? Stop playing around and get ready. Oh, sorry. What is it? Is there a problem? No, uh, no. But I've lost sight of why we're saving people's lives. Quit thinking about useless crap like that. There's a patient here. Now isn't the time for this. You're absolutely right. Now, let's begin the operation. Multiple patients this time, so let's treat him as fast as we can. Indeed. This is our first patient. The wounds are in the right leg. Let's make an incision and see what's inside. Hmm. The tibia is chipped. Hmm. We should fill it with synthetic bone. Better do this quickly. Wait. First we need to prepare the connecting area. Then we'll use the synthetic bone. Okay. You're the specialist. I'll let you make the decisions here. All right then, set the saw. Let's make an excision along the guideline. Look at the saw's orientation and run it parallel to the guideline. Good. Cautiously continue on. I should prepare the connecting area. Now to form the synthetic bone. The shape to cut is already shown on it. Use the laser to cut it out. Pretty good! Alright, let's proceed. Be careful. What was that static? Hey, settle down. Just wait for the guideline. Settle down. Just wait for the guideline. Good. Cautiously continue on. Pretty good! Jeez, I think it's time we bought a new machine. Good. 
cautiously continue on. The synthetic bone's been shaped. Let's move on to the next step. All right, put the synthetic bone in the correct position. All right, now to secure it with a plate. Prepare the drill. Drill deep enough without touching the guidelines, okay? Good. It's going well so far. Don't get carried away with that drill. Got it? Can you bring out the plate? Let's screw it in place. The screws go in up to the guideline. Got it? That was pretty good! Good, good. It's going well. The femoral neck is the next step. This is awful. This area has been completely shattered. Hmm. Looks like we have no choice but to replace it with an artificial joint. Right. Let's start this quickly. First, we have to extract the bone fragments. Alright. Keep going with the other pieces too, okay? Get the saw. We need to work on it so that the stem can be driven in. Don't leave the guideline. Using a saw isn't like using a scalpel, after all. Good, good. There's no need to hurry. Just be careful. 